Go. Oh, come on, Audi. Oh, he's going back fast. Today's motor drag battle is going to be wet. But what you want in soggy conditions like these is a two litre turbo and all wheel drive. So exactly what these two have. Question is, which of them is quickest? Okay, I am in the Audi SQ2. Scotty, my good friend, is over in the Merc GLA 35. I need to point out from the get-go that because it's so wet today, we're actually running the drag strip in reverse because the prep surface down the other end is super, super slippery in the rain. So we're doing it on more of a normal road surface. So it should replicate typical wet conditions. Now, the car I'm in has a two litre turbo petrol, 221 kilowatts, 400 newton meters. Scotty, what kind of engine and power figures uh, are you packing over there? Well, Alex, like the SQ2, GLA 35's got two litre turbo, four cylinder. Got a little bit more power, 225 kilowatts, 400 newton meters, that's the same. I do have one more gear with an eight speed dual clutch, but I'm a bit heavier at 1582 kilos. Yeah, I'm a sneak lighter, so I'm 1535, I think, but we both have all-wheel drive, we both have turbo two litres, so it should be very, very close. Question is, how much does your car cost? Because that's the elephant in the room between these two. Well, my car costs um, uh, $83,700. 84 grand. Yeah, it's a little bit steep when you look at it uh, compared to the Audi, but um, we'll see. It'll all be worth it if I cross the finish line first. That is 20 grand more than this car. My car costs 64,000, so I feel very smug that I have the same level of performance as you for 20 grand less. Question is, which of our cars sounds better? Time for a sound off. Let's do it. Okay, two litre turbos never sound great, but let's see what it sounds like. Oh, typical Audi thing, soft limiter. Typical two litre turbo. Sounds kind of meaty though. What do you got? Look, I'm not going to pretend this is super inspiring. Hang on, I'll just put it in uh, sport mode, see if I can liven it up a bit. Oh, that's a bit better. Yeah, I've got a bit of uh, got a bit of noise happening. All right, let us know in the comments below which car you prefer the sound of, but Scotty, I think it's time we have a race, my friend. Let's race. The launch control procedure in this car is actually quite complicated, so give me a few seconds to activate it. See, this is easy, that's another one. Maybe we should do a Le Mans start. We just start, get in, and then go as soon as we quit. I think that's a great idea. That's something we should definitely incorporate. <laughs> Activating launch control in the SQ2 is a bit of a process. Uh, get the car into drive, put the gearbox into sport, turn off the stop-start system, put the traction control into sport, but weirdly when you do that, it says it's going into an off-road mode. Um, then you left foot on the brake, right foot on the throttle, and we should be okay, I hope. Oh, I forgot, you have to have the steering wheel pointed perfectly straight and the engine has to be warm. So if you meet all of those parameters, you can do a launch control in an SQ2. Launch control on this couldn't be simpler. Get in, make sure the engine and transmission are up to temp, that's the crucial thing. Sport plus mode, ESP and sport, left foot on the brake, hold comes up to let you know that it's ready, flatten the throttle, off you go. Piece of cake. Three, two, one, go. Oh, close getaway. Come on, Audi. Come on, GLA. Yeah, I've got a nose in front. Come on, GLA. What are you doing? Yes. Got him in the bag. No. I don't want to lose. There was a little bit of wheel slip because it's so wet, but the Quattro system figured it out for me. Damn. That Audi is quick. Yes! I've won one for once. That little Audi is quick sticks. Yeah, that was a very even getaway, but she just hooked up and took off. Yeah, this is launching pretty cleanly. A bit of wheel spin, but it's uh, getting off the line nicely. And I thought, I thought I had a chance there, but seems like the Audi's got the grunt. So Quattro system trumps AMG 4Matic with a launch control start. Let's do a street start and see if uh, that reverses the pecking order. Yeah, a couple of these Audis have had sort of very long delays in a street start. So let's see if the SQ2 can buck the trend. Three, two, one, go. Oh, it's going to start for me this time. Got him. 
him again. <laughs> yes. Oh, but it doesn't matter. He even had the, he was ducking down like this, like a go-kart racer. I'm not a lot slower. He's closer this time. But I'm slower. It's an extra weight, I suppose. The extra 50 kilograms. Ugh. Not even close. Clear victory for the Audi SQ2. No matter how we cut this cake, from a standing start, there's only one winner. I really liked uh, how you had the, the head forward um, position going like a go-kart racer trying to get a draft at the start line that time. I was, I thought I'd be more aerodynamic that way, but uh, it didn't work. I mean, I actually didn't cheat, but uh, I actually, <laughs> I floored it on like just after the one to take off in time and I still didn't really matter. Cheater. Didn't matter anyway. Like you said, uh, from a standing start, the SQ2 holds a clear advantage over that much more expensive AMG. Question is, what's it like once they're on the move? Time for a roll start, I think. I think you are correct. It's not cheating, it's just optimising the regulations. Alrighty, roll race time. Typical procedure. Going to have the car in its sport mode. Gearbox in automatic. Scotty and I are going to get up to 50 k's an hour. Flatten it, see who gets to the chequered flag first. This is all about testing engine response and obviously rolling acceleration. Time for the GLA to fight back. Fifty k's an hour. Fifty. Constant speed. Right speed. We're going at the same speed, and then we and punch it. Oh, come on, Audi! Yes, yeah. come on, come on, come on, GLA! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, he just reacted so much. Oh, I'm getting him. He's coming come back. Come on! Back, but I think I can hold him. Oh, I think oh, I can oh, hold him. Closer. Oh, it's going to be. Close. We're getting closer! Oh, he's coming back fast! No! Yes! <laughs> yes, 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 Wow, I was hunting him down. <gasps> oh! Another 50 metres I would have had ya. That was close. Well done, fair play. You reacted much quicker than I did, but I was reeling you in. I had the legs on you. I know, it was fairly steady, and then that last 50 metres or so, or whatever, 100 metres, Bang, suddenly it was really started accelerating forward. I was getting nervous. Whew. So how fast are they? Well, despite the rain, both cars clocked respectable times. The SQ2 actually beat its official acceleration claim and took 4.79 seconds to reach 100 k's an hour or 62 miles an hour. The quarter mile was completed in 13.1 seconds. The GLA was three tenths behind at 5.15 seconds to 100 and 13.47 over the quarter mile. We've done quite a few of these motor drag battles now and if you haven't already, it's worth hitting subscribe and also knocking that bell notification because we're going to have a new drag race like this pretty much every week. And also give this video a like. Were you surprised by this result that the Audi so comprehensively beat the AMG from a standing start? Maybe not because it's so wet, but let us know in the comments below.